Amazon gift guide. Favorites and finds. Stay tuned. Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Sheila. If you're new here, a special welcome to you. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Ring that bell for all future notifications. Give me a like if you like it. And leave me a comment. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show my Amazon gift guides. And some favorites and finds. Now, I have done other Amazon videos, and I will have them linked below if you want to look at them. I did get a, a just wonderful um, makeup cart from Amazon all months back, and I did show it on my channel. It is fantastic. It's too big to drag out here. It is on wheels, though, but you can look at it in that video. Well, first I'm going to go over some Amazon gift ideas. And my most favorite one that I am loving is this uh, sunglass or glasses holder. Let me get that. It's, it's a pretty good size. All right, I hope you can see this. It comes in the white uh, leather. I'm sure it's faux leather, but white or black. It has a glass case on the top. I hope this is showing up in the camera. And it has this latch right here. And you open this up and you have all your sunglasses in here. It holds six pair up here on top. And these, uh, let me see, five of these are the sunglasses that my friend and subscriber Jackie told me about that fit over top of your regular glasses that I absolutely love. And I finally got the pink ones. I had them in gray, black, brown, I think some other color, but I really wanted the pink ones. And these are polarized. They fit over top of your glasses and wrap around and really block the UV, and here are the pink ones. They finally got them in, and I'll show you those. Now, of course, I don't have my real glasses on. Let me do that to show you. Okay, I'm putting on my regular glasses, and then when I put these over top of them, as you can see, you can't see my regular glasses. You can't see the stems on each side. They are perfect. And they're $9.99 a pair. Some colors are $12.99. But I think three of mine were $9.99. And I just love them. This was the best find of the year for me. And I would never have found these glasses. I didn't even know they existed if it weren't for Jackie. So Jackie, I am forever grateful to you. They, they are so meaningful to me that I bought this special case just to put them in. So anyhow, that's that. And then it has a drawer down here at the bottom. And I don't want to dump this all out, but if you can see, there's six more slots for more glasses. You could put sunglasses in if you have that many pair or just regular glasses. And I have these glasses I showed before on my channel that I had gotten from Amazon, of course. And they came in all these different colors. Let me set this aside. And these are reading glasses. And see the stripes? Like some are like pink and purple stripes and uh, brown and gold stripes and things like that. And they're just reading glasses. And they're really cute. So I put those in here. Now, unfortunately, these didn't work out for me for um, reading because I, I need a bifocal. But I'm wondering, I haven't tried it yet. Now that I had my eye surgery and I have so much extra light and vision on the sides, I'm wondering if these might work and I'll be able to wear them. So I'm going to 
test that out today. But anyhow, I think this case is wonderful. It looks so pretty sitting on your nightstand or your dresser, wherever you want to put it. And I believe it was $24.99. If I'm incorrect, then it's it was $29.95 or something. Somewhere between $25 and $29. But I will have everything linked and listed below. So that's that. I love this. I just love it. And I never had a need for anything like that because I didn't have any glasses. Um, I would need prescription sunglasses, and they're very expensive. I have one pair, but they cost me $400. And other than that, I just, you can't wear regular sunglasses over top of your glasses because it shows. So anyhow, that's that. Another thing that I think is a wonderful gift for those of you that love like perfumes or scents but you can't wear them, which is me, that's my case. I used to wear perfume all the time. I would get one bottle a year and my son, Sean, my middle child, would get me a bottle every year. And every year I just picked a different, a different kind, a different scent a different company. I'd just go to Macy's, squirt them, spray them all over my arms and decide what I liked. I would tell him and that's what he would buy me. Well, for whatever reason, oh, I don't know, seven, seven to ten years ago, I couldn't wear perfumes anymore. The smells bothered me. They just burned my nose. I guess I became sensitive to it and I, I just can't wear them. Now, I can smell it on other people and I'm okay, but not on me. So, I wanted something. So, I had this roller ball, and I love this. This is made by K-U-U-M-B-I-A, Kumbia. It's a fragrance oil in a roller ball. They have many, many scents, and this is the vanilla bean. My absolute favorite is the white ginger, and I have an order in for that one now because I ran out of it. These smell absolutely amazing. They stick with me all day long. They're not that powerful, perfumey scent. They're very soft and just a very feminine scent. Now, I ordered one that was called Sandalwood and Amber. I didn't like that one. I, I thought I smelled like a man. Does sandalwood have more of a man scent to it? Anyhow, that one I returned. But these are wonderful for someone that can't wear perfume or just like something like this. It's a wonderful gift and I believe it was $10. Another great gift idea are these spray bottles from Amazon. Now these, they have the finest mist of any mister you would ever try. And you can put uh, your water in here to spritz your face. If you have a setting spray that you really enjoy, but you hate the spray or it, it leaves a, those droplets all over your face, and it's not a fine mist, just dump it in here. And I don't have anything in this, but I'm telling you, you can, will not find a finer mist than one of these. Another great gift idea, which I have not opened this yet, is this portable uh, flosser, this uh, water, uh, what do you call those things? Oh, water pick. Uh, it's made by Mo Spro, Portable Oral Irrigation Spa for your mouth. And here's what it looks like in the box. Let me see if I can open it if it's not too difficult and doesn't make too much noise. I can't wait to try this. The reason I got this, I have a water pick, but because I'll be getting my Invisalign next week. And they say after 
uh, each time you eat, you need to brush and floss and all that. I, you know, if I go to somebody's house, I have to carry that stuff with me. My toothbrush, my toothpaste, and I still want to floss, but I want to floss good. I don't just want, you know, the handheld floss. So I, I got this one, and it's portable, and that's what I love about it. I mean, it's, it's not teeny tiny. It might be a little big in your purse, but if you were going out of town or on vacation or somewhere, you could take it with you, and it, you just charge it. And that's it. And it comes with these, uh, a bag to carry it in. Comes with uh, different attachments, you know, to go around your gums and massage your gums and clean between your teeth and everything. So I knew I'd get a lot of use out of this. So that's a wonderful gift. Oh, by the way, these gifts are all for me. <laughs> Of course, you could get them for somebody you love or you know that loves these, but I bought these for myself. This next one, although I bought it for myself, I've got to go back and order more because it would just make a beautiful gift for anybody, for a friend, a neighbor, a family member, your daughters, anybody. Look at the beautiful floral box that comes in and the pretty bow. These are candles, and they smell amazing. And here it is. There's a, a little card here with it. And here they are. They're in such pretty tins. Let me pull one of these out of here to show you. They are so well made, such high quality. They were $16 for four. So you get this metal tin. It's got this little rub, uh, ribbon to push to get the top off, to pull up on. Ah, there, I got it. And here's the candle. Oh my gosh, it's the softest floral scent you would ever want. They have other scents and other colored tins. And then when the candle burns down and you're finished with it, you've got these cute little tins that you can put around on your nightstand or dresser, keep some earrings in it or your rings, special little trinkets or whatever. And all four of these uh, are a different scent, the, the box that I got. And let me see if the scent is on this card, and I'll tell you what comes in this one that I'll have a uh, link below. But when you click on the link, then you can look at the other colors and, and scents and so on. Uh, no. Oh, this is a little gift card. It says, best wishes for you. And then it has a to and a from. So you can fill in the person's name. So that would make a wonderful birthday gift as well. Or any kind of gift. Well, I don't know where the scents are on here. But it is four different scents. So I thought that would be just a wonderful gift. And let me see, as far as gifts, I think that's all I would consider a gift. Oh no, there is one more thing before I go into my favorites and finds. Well, these could be both a gift and a favorite. I love these. I heard about these on the channel Mandy Lee. They are blush, and they're by Juicy Pang, P-A-N-G. I got this coral color and this lavender pink. Oh, my goodness. These are incredible, and they last all day. Now, when you look at it, you're going to think, well, that's just a bottle of fingernail polish because that's what it looks like. I'm going to shake it up, and I'll show you. Uh, just how beautiful they are. And it comes out, again, like a fingernail polish. And I'm going to put just a little dab here so that I can work it into my cheek and show you what it looks like. I am loving these. You know, I've been into the liquid and cream blushes for 
quite a while now. So I'm just going to take a little and I'll turn this way so you can see what I'm doing. And tap that in. Can you see that? Where it looks lavender here. And then I'm just going to tap that in right up here. And I'll do the same on the other side so that I will look even. Let me get just a touch more. Whoops, I got too much. Oh, you only need just a little bit, a very little bit. And it is so, so pretty. I love it. The formula, it's just, it just glides on your skin. And, oh wow. I love it. So let me rub this one in so you can see the actual shade. Does that show up at all? It's a, like a lavender pink. So, so pretty. And the other one is a, a coral shade. Now they don't come in color names. They come in numbers. And they have several different colors. They have... Um, you know, different shades of pink and different shades of peach. And so you, you can look and see what you like. Now this one is going to look real orange. I always put these in the wrong place and then you can't see them. But here's the um, orange or peach shade that I got. It looks intense there. But I'm going to smooth that out. And then I'll try to show you both. So here's the peach one, and I didn't put this in the right place, but here's the, the lavender pink shade I got. I'm telling you, for the price, these are beautiful. They are well worth trying. So it's a great uh, find. It's a favorite for sure, and it was a gift to me. So that worked couple other things. I got, uh, I guess you'd call this a, a find. You know, I self-tan quite a bit and most of the year because I'm in South Carolina and we can wear shorts a good portion of the year. So I just got this pack. It came with a, a self-tanner mitt because I don't like to see people with orange palms. It drives me crazy. I think, why, why can't you just use a mat? <laughs> and then it comes with this little teeny mat in case you put it on your face. I don't, but you could, or if you want to get a certain area around your ankles or your toes or whatever, you could use that. And then it comes with this black exfoliating glove. And you know how I love to exfoliate. So that was a, a great find for me. Then I found this comb, or not comb, teasing brush. And I love it because it folds up like this. So it's easy to carry in your purse. And you just bend the handle down, it locks into place. And you know how sometimes you'll back comb just a little bit right through here to get a little bit of height. These kind of brushes, uh, I love these. And it's got the short and the long brush brushes so it really uh, does the job and then you can fold it and just carry it in your purse in case you need a touch up if your hair is long and you want to fluff it up a little bit with a brush like this you can do that too and then you have this on the end where you can lift where you need to so that was a great find then I got this mascara and I have not tried it I've watched three reviews on it. They were all great reviews. And they said it was a tubing mascara. However, it does not say tubing on the package. So I don't know if it is or isn't. But they said it was. And it's a fiber mascara. Is that the same? I don't know. But it's the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous X Fiber. And this is what it looks like. It's double-ended. It has a primer on one end, and it's the black primer. So I've never tried a black primer, just the white. And then, of course, the mascara on the other end. It says 
of course, you know, advertising, but it says fiber mascara, 20 times extreme length. So we'll see. You know, I think it's going to be 20 times, but I'm curious to see how this comes off. If it comes off like a tubing mascara with just warm water or not. But they swore it was tubing, so I thought I'd give it a try. It was under $10. And I think the last thing I have here is this cleansing balm. Now this was came highly recommended by my sweet friend here on YouTube, Bella, from the channel Beauty on a Budget. I'm sure a lot of you know Bella. She is such a dear heart. And she swears by this, the Body Shop Chamomile cleansing butter balm suitable for sensitive skin and if it's good enough for Bella it's good enough for me and she is right oh my goodness as you can see I have been into this it is wonderful it's creamy it has like a little bit of oil on top but not real oily and it's uh, transparent when you put it on like a transparent cream. Oh my gosh, this removes everything. I mean everything. Bella, you were exactly spot on when you talked about this and how wonderful it is. I am so happy that she showed this on her channel and recommended it and I tried it because it's become my favorite cleansing balm. So thank you, Bella. And those of you who haven't heard of Bella, please check out her channel, Beauty on a Budget. She has a great channel, and she is the loveliest girl. She truly is. Well, I think that's all I have. Wasn't a whole lot, but a couple good gift ideas for yourself or someone else. And what else did I want to tell you? Oh, um, I'll have a video coming up soon. Of course, I made my uh, trip to Ross and Marshalls like I do weekly. And I'll be going to TJ Maxx on Saturday. But I got a couple really good finds at Ross and Marshalls. Not much, but a couple. And one of the finds I got is a lipstick. I have it on. I hope you can see it. I know I don't wear the kind of colors that show up. Plus, I have a 22-year-old camera, so I, I don't really have the equipment that shows real well. But I'm wearing something you would never dream. You would never believe the brand of lipstick that I found at Marshall's. So I will share that when I do that video. And as I'm sure you've noticed, I still don't have eye makeup on, no mascara, no anything. I don't know what my problem is. It's been six and a half weeks now since my eyelid surgery. I'll let you see it again. The scar is, you know, a little pink, of course, but it could easily be covered up with concealer. And he told me I could put makeup on, you know, quite a way back. But I still have, and I thought, well, I just want to make sure everything's good and healed. Well, obviously, after six and a half weeks, it's healed. You can see that. But I have gotten so used to seeing myself with no eye makeup on <laughs> that I'm, I'm liking it. This makes no sense. Finally, for the first time in many years, well, probably my whole life, even though I never wore eye makeup until I started my YouTube channel. But you could never see it anyhow because they were so heavily hooded. Well, now that I have some real estate and you can see my mobile lid, you know, I can try some eyeshadows and maybe my eyelashes will show up better because all that skin isn't going to be hanging on them. And here I am. I still haven't put any on, not once, nothing. I just get ready and then think, well, that doesn't look so bad. And I don't know, I've just gotten used to seeing myself with no eye makeup.
but I promise I am going to start wearing it again and I will do a get ready with me when I actually put some shadow on and mascara and everything. And this is another great find that just came in when I finished my video. So I hurried up and unwrapped it and put it on to show you. You all know I love bed jackets. That's, that's what I wear, bed jackets. I even wear them out to the stores when I'm shopping. This is a beautiful shade of lavender. It comes in a ton of colors. Oh, probably 25 different colors. It's so me. It's so Lucy. It's uh, got the buttons. I love the button down. It's that like a uh, fleece, chenille fleece kind of material inside and out. The sleeves come right above the wrist. It has two pockets. It's real full and flowy. I love that. And here's the back of it. Oh, I love the collar on it. This is so me. So this would make a wonderful Christmas gift for yourself or anybody because you can just, if you're chilly in your house, just throw this on top. It looks really cute. And if you have to run out to the store, run out to the store. You look great. Everything. Well, that's all I have for you from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you like some of the things that I liked. And now it's time for me to leave you with an inside beauty tip. And today's inside beauty tip comes from James 4.2. You have not because you ask not. How simple is that? You know, why is it that there are some verses or scripture that are just a few words that are so simple to understand and so impactful, yet we read over them and they just don't hit for some reason. And this one really hit. You have not because you ask not. And this came to me when I was reading the Bible. And it really hit me because of, you know, all the mental stuff. And uh, I've been going through, you know, with my mother and having to put her in a nursing home and everything. You know, I prayed and prayed. And I kept looking for answers. You know, I guess I was praying for the wrong things and asking for the wrong things because I guess my prayer was selfish. You know, I would ask God, you know, uh, show me what to do or, um, okay, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. And yeah, this is the answer. That's the answer. And, uh, you know, Lord, please give me peace and, and things like that. Well, uh, the missing part was I wasn't asking him. That's why I wasn't getting anywhere. I was telling God what I was going to do, what I thought would work, uh, things like that. Well, that's not asking God. So that really hit me, and it made me really take a, a deep look into it. And you know, when you ask God for for something, you need to make sure of a few things. Number one, that it lines up with his will. And you want to know why you're asking for it. What are your motives? Motives are very important. And as long as they line up with God's promises in his word, then you're good. If you're asking for something for wrong motives, say you're, you're coveting something, uh, there's jealousy there, somebody got a new car, and you want a new car, and you actually pray and ask God to bless you with a new car, because inside of you there's a jealousy, or you're trying to keep up with the Joneses, or whatever it may be, that does not line up. And that's not going to be an effective prayer. The Bible is full of God's loving promises. And he keeps all his promises. 
and you can be confident in that. So when you pray with that in mind and have the right motives, then it changes things. So this was a great lesson for me to learn and such an eye-opener, such a revelation. I have had so many revelations, which I'm going to try to compile them all in an upcoming video in my series, What I Know For Sure. But I realized, again, you have not because you ask not. You know, I, I, I didn't ask God, show me your way so that I may have peace. Show me what you would have me to do. You know, show me how I should be thinking and what your will is for my mother in this situation. No, I, I was running all my ideas by God. You know, they were mine. They weren't even in consideration of him or his will. So that was a tough lesson to learn, but a lesson that brings such a big smile to my face today. I laugh at myself now, and I smile because I am so grateful that I learned that lesson and those simple words, you have not because you ask not. I will never forget that. Well, thank you so much for being here today. I truly appreciate you spending time with me. And until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya!